Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you like this smoky eye that I did. If you want to learn how, just keep watching. First, I'm going to start out with the Make It Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer all over my face. Next, I'll be using the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Helps your eyeshadow last longer throughout the day. I'm going to be using the Naked 2 palette. The first color I'm going to be using is Tees for my transition shade. You always want to use a transition shade because it helps with the colors blending together. Next I'll be using Blackout, also from the Naked 2 palette, all over my lid, all the way up to the crease. Packing it on as heavy as you can so there's no white spaces sticking through. Always blend out your creases and any lines. You don't want any lines showing where two colors meet. Blend as much as you can. Especially with black. Blend, pack on more, blend, pack on more. For the brow bone highlight, I'm going to be using Foxy from the Naked 2 palette. You can also put a black eyeliner, just a pencil liner, all over your lid and then pack the black on top of it to help from any of your lid color seeing through the black. Next for brows, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills and dip the Dip Brow Pomade in chocolate with the brush that comes with it. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Miss Magna Rock. I really like this mascara. You don't even have to use falsies with it. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Femme Couture Get Flawless 8-in-1 Foundation in the color 827142. My first impression on this foundation is I don't like it. I got really oily throughout the day with this foundation on. The color didn't match as well as I would liked it to, and it was very thin, so I do not recommend this foundation, but I went with it for the video.
For my highlight, I'm going to be using LA Girl Pro Conceal in Classic Ivory. This color has a little bit of a pinky tone to it. When you're blending this out, you really want to push it into your skin rather than drag the beauty blender on your skin. For my contour, I'm going to be using an LA Girl Pro Conceal in Beautiful Bronze. I'm going to blend this out with a Morphe brush, or I'm sorry, a BH Cosmetics brush, and just pushing that into your skin, dragging as least as possible. I'm going to use a BH Cosmetics brush, a smaller one, to do the contouring on my nose. You don't want to use a big fluffy brush for your nose or just put your contour all over your nose and you'll have a brown nose. To set my highlight, I'm going to use the Revlon Color Stay in Light. I'm actually going to pack this on pretty thick underneath my eyes and anywhere I contoured, or I'm sorry, anywhere I highlighted. To set my contour, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Filet with a Morphe brush.
for blush, I'm going to be using the Morphe 9B Blush Palette in the bottom left mauve color. There's so many beautiful colors, it's hard to pick from this palette. I'm going to go back with the Naked 2 palette with the color Tease and put that underneath my eye at the lash line just to give some pop underneath your eye. Finishing my lashes off with the Miss Magna in Rock. For liner, I'm going to be using the MAC Soar Lip Liner. For lipstick, I'm going to be using Urban Decay in the color Liar. This is similar to the Kylie Jenner color that she's been wearing. I'll set my brows with the Benefit Give Me Brow in Medium Deep. And this look is all done. I hope you like it. If you do, please thumbs up my video. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys. Thank you.